can we just peep how dope this office is coming out? Like, it's finally how, don't mind those, those boxes. It's finally how I imagined it. I got my little Bentley wheel coffee table, got my uh, coffee section over there, I got my sim rig, I have my work PC. Um, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of this. But uh, that's not why I'm making this video. I'm making this video because I wanted to test out uh, those car dollies because I've been moving the S4 around a lot in the garage. If you didn't know, I parked it for the winter and I don't know, I've just been moving it a lot because I'm in New England and it snows. So when it snows, I try to stuff all three cars in the garage. With there not being too much room, it's kind of hard. So I got these metal car dollies. So we're going to see if they're worth a hundred bucks. Sorry if I'm out of focus here. Uh, another thing is, um, I also, another thing is I looked into the Harbor Freight ones. They're about the same price. I think they're like $120 if I remember correctly. These are the Amazon ones for a hundred. I want to do a little, not so much of a comparison, but I did some research and a lot of people said that the Amazon one is better. So I guess we're going to find out, right? I'm going to try it. If I'm not happy with it, I'll return it and I will get the Harbor Freight, but uh, hopefully I won't have to. So let's see how good these things are. All right, first things first, I'm gonna change this sweatshirt. Oh, peep these? How sick is that? Also, I haven't done a video like this with like me vlogging and holding the camera in so long. I kind of like it. I'm feeling a vanilla custard pie today. First impression, they're pretty good. Um, they're pretty heavy. It looks like they're uh, some sort of diamond plate. But um, a big thing I wanted to see were the casters, how nice the bearings were, and uh, just how heavy duty they feel. But they feel pretty good. I'm just gonna zip these on now. Probably do two now. I got some emails I gotta go answer. And do this next two, and then I guess I'll be out in the garage testing them out. So let's do a quick little time lapse here. Oh jeez. Thank God for Milwaukee. Not sponsored. I wish it was, but it's not. Maybe one day. Probably not. All right, so I'm gonna do these, the rest of these, and then I'll let you guys know how it goes. All right. Freezing in my garage doesn't echo, so bear with me. Um, first impression, these things are pretty solid. There you go, they're pretty heavy. They're pretty heavy, like I mentioned, the casters are pretty good. It's got a nice carrying handle. So uh, yeah, solid, good first impressions. So these are each rated for, I think, 1,500 pounds. Um, so that's 1,500 pounds per corner. Do the math, that's what, like 6,000 pounds? I think my S4 weighs, I don't know, like 2,800. Um, so it's this is clearly like overkill. But what I really wanna see is if I can push the S4 around the garage by myself. Also, I wanna see, I wanna test the durability of these casters and see if like, you know, they don't bend or anything. So uh, let's give this a shot. I just remember my jack, I think is broken. I hope I'm wrong. I haven't used this in so long. Uh, fingers crossed. Oh, I forgot about this part. <gasps> okay, so my car is too low. The battery's dead because I haven't driven it all winter. Um, I don't have another car to jump it. So I'm gonna use a scissor jack. I hate my life, but let's do it. Literally hate my life. Don't lower your cars, kids. Lower your car, they said. It will be fun. Monkeying around, I finally got it. Got one side, at least.
All right, so now for the true test. I'm gonna try to push the car by myself. Should be able to do it. So to get it started, my tip would be to pre-turn the wheel in the direction you want to go in because if you were by yourself, to get that first initial like wheel turn, it's going to be kind of hard, but totally doable. Okay, so here's my consensus. I am sweaty, but that's not because it was hard to push. I'm just really out of shape, but um, would recommend. I think I paid $107 for these after tax and it was Amazon Prime, so it's free shipping. I will include the link down in the description. I would highly recommend them. I could easily do a quick 360 in the garage. Let me just do a quick push for you guys. Home frame. All right, quick little spin. Like, come on. That's totally doable with just one person. Um, even better if you have two, but again, really good. So I did a quick inspection around the car. Um, two of the wheels on the inners aren't really visible, but from what I can tell, they aren't bent. I didn't roll my car down the driveway on the, you know, the asphalt driveway. So this is a concrete, it's pretty fine, and I didn't have any issues with it. Um, now, whether I would recommend this for a driveway, that's another story. Just a lot of factors there, like, um, like how coarse your driveway is. So that's, I think that's another video. Also for today, two thumbs up. I will update this video if I do have, um, you know, any bad experiences with this. Like let's say a week from now, the wheels bend, I will update. Um, but as of right now, two thumbs up, really happy, $100. Had some Christmas gift cards. So this came out basically free and I'm happy. I'm gonna leave the car right in the middle so I can, you know, give a nice little detail. Cause I, uh, it is really dirty, I know, but. That's going to be the end of this video. Guys, please give me a like, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.